area and perimeter of rectilinear shapes. So, we know how to find the area and perimeter of any 2D regular polygon. So, whether it's a square or a rectangle, we know how to find the perimeter and area. Now, this shape here, this is a rectilinear shape. Alright, so it's basically made up of a load of different rectangles and squares. Well, to calculate the perimeter of a rectilinear shape, it is basically the exact same method as finding the perimeter of a normal regular square and rectangle. All we have to do is add all the sides of the shape, except that there's no longer four different sides, there are loads of different sides. So in this case, this shape here has got one, two, three, four, five, six different sides, and all we have to do is add them all together. When you've added them all to get all the sides together, you have the perimeter of the rectilinear shape. And don't forget the unit or measurement, in this case it is centimeters. So the perimeter of this shape is 26 centimeters. To find the area of a rectilinear shape, such as this one here, what we have to do is first of all look at where we can divide this shape into two different easier squares or rectangles. So in this case, I might decide that I'm going to split this shape right here. Okay, and I'm going to call this shape here, shape A, and this shape, shape B. Okay, now what we have to do now is to find the area of both A and B. And then once we've done that, we can add the two areas together to find the whole area. So, let's start with shape A. Okay, well shape A is nice and simple because here we can see the length on this side is six centimeters long. Okay, which also means this side length down here is also six centimeters long and we know that because this length here is four centimeters and that length there is two centimeters. So this side is six centimeters and the width is four centimeters. So we need to do six times four We'll, which will give us 24 centimeter squared. So that is the area of shape A. Okay, now shape B, to find the area of this shape, again, we multiply the length. So here we have the length of four centimeters multiplied by the width, which in this case is three centimeters. All right, so let's write out the equation. So we have B is 4 centimeters multiplied by 3, which gives us 12 centimeter squared. Alright, now that we have both the area of shape A and the area of shape B, we have to add both areas together to find the whole area. So we do 24 centimeters squared, add on 12 centimeters squared which will give us 36 centimeter squared. Now you have a go trying to find the area and perimeter of these two rectilinear shapes. All right, now when I say pause, make sure you pause the video and have a go. When you're ready, play the video again and you will see the area and perimeter for both this shape and this shape here and compare it to your own. Good luck!